Today we have a big battle on our hands, my friends, because we have ChatGPT4 versus ChatGPT01 versus Claude AI. And we're going to put them to the test today to see which one is the best AI model. And I'm going to run several prompts through each of these models and compare them step by step so that you can figure out, okay, which AI SEO model is the best, why that is, and which model suits the best workflows. So let's get straight into it. This is based on me doing thousands of AI SEO experiments over the last year. You can see me ranking number one for the keyword best SEO speakers there. You can see me ranking one, two, three times for the keyword SEO train in Japan. And I've even had over the last 28 days, 100,000 SEO traffic just on my YouTube channel alone. So let's get straight into it. All right, so first prompt that we're gonna be using is this one that I've written previously for content. We're gonna take the prompt as you can see right here. And this usually creates a very humanized piece of content. So we're gonna run this through chat GPT 4.0, GPT 01 preview and Claude uh, to kick things off. Now what we're looking for here really is high quality content for the reader. And um, we'll run an SEO optimization test in a minute as well, in terms of creating highly SEO optimized content, in terms of semantics, LSIs, entities, etc. But one of the first things we want to check out is, okay, how good is each at actually writing the content? So let's look at these side by side. We've got ChatGPT01 Mini versus ChatGPT40, as you can see right here. GPT40 has created an article it's not bad actually when you read it what is seo ever wonder why your website's getting traffic why you're not showing up it's pretty humanized in terms of the actual content it's formatted the content nicely and you can see it's quite humanized as well for example you could have the best product service or content in the world but if people can't find you online what's the point you're leaving money on the table trust me you don't want that right you can also see that it's included some nice bullet points formatting etc that's pretty good when it comes to humanized content that's actually useful for the reader if we look at the content from gpt01 it doesn't flow quite the same right so you can see gpt01 mini here and you can see in the first sentence it says ever wondered why some websites pop up first on Google while others get lost. And the rhythm of the content just doesn't feel quite as nice as GPT-40. And I've seen this as well with previous articles that I've created with GPT-01 as well. But you can see here in terms of the formatting, it doesn't look quite as nice as GPT-40. And you can see also inside the conclusion here where it says wrapping up. So what is SEO? It's your ticket to online visibility. It still just feels really AI, right? If that's an actual word. And if I was to choose between the two, I'm gonna go with chat GPT-40. Now let's pull up Claude and we'll compare it to the winner, as you can see right here. Now, first thing I would say with the content from Claude, and bear in mind, we use the same prompt in every single article. You can see with Claude, it's actually not formatted the content nicely, and the content length itself isn't quite as long as well as I can see. Now, the actual content itself reads nicely. Here's a real cook. He's a real kicker. SEO isn't a one and done deal. It's like going to the gym. You've got to keep at it to see results. Like the way that it's written is really nice, but it's not formatted correctly. Now, if we ask it to format it nicely, it is going to be able to sort it out. And then I would say, if you look at this versus GPT-40, the content quality is almost better, right? So, for example, if you look at the titles, the real deal with SEO, how to nail SEO, the long game, etc., it feels a lot more humanized on Claude than it does on ChatGPT-40. But I'm going to say that, honestly, I would take both of them. I think both of them read quite nicely. However, when it comes to creating content on social media, emails, and just writing for users in general, typically I will go with Claude. So I'm going to say Claude is a winner, followed closely by ChatGPT-40. And honestly, the content with GPT-01 Mini, I probably wouldn't use. Now what we're gonna do is test this for content optimization because obviously if you're writing for SEO, you don't just wanna write for the user, which you can do with the content prompts I've used previously. And by the way, you'll get access to everything at the end of this video. Let's compare which AI model creates the most optimized content when it comes to the actual algorithm, right? So in terms of the entities, LSI, semantics, etc., in terms of inside the content. So what we're gonna do here is we'll go with the keyword, what is SEO, just as an example, and we'll type that into the query. And by the way, if you haven't checked out Zisto, it's a pretty cool tool, honestly. We'll select the client, default client, night, default client name, optimization mode manual, all the basics right there. We'll analyze the first five results from Google and create the outline for the content. Basically what this is gonna do is this is like a free tool where you can get a content optimization score for your content and then we can run semantically optimized content from ChatGPT, GPT-01 and Claude directly inside Zista and see which one is performing the best on a quantitative scale because I can read through the content and tell you it looks nice 
but let's actually grade it and check the data, right? Facts over opinions, let's focus on the facts. That's what we like on Julian Goldie SEO. So we'll wait for that to load. We've got the outline right here, ready to go. And what we can do is basically just take the instructions from Zista and then plug them into each AI model and see which one performs the best in terms of semantics. So the prompt that I'm gonna use is write an SEO article, keyword equals what is SEO, style equals semantically optimized, relevant, LSIs, entities, write like, and we'll put Alex Hormozzi as the tone of the content. And then what we can do is also take the headings from the heading section, as you can see right here. So we'll put include the H2s and we'll paste those in. And then we will include this list of relevant LSIs and entities inside the content as well. All right, so just to recap, we're gonna ask the AI models for an SEO article. The keyword we've given it right here, which is what is SEO. We've asked for the style to be semantically optimized to include relevant LSIs and entities and rather Alex or Mosey. We've given it a list of H2s based on Sister's optimization score, which I've compared to Phrase and other tools and it's very, very similar in terms of the outputs. And then also we're gonna say include these relevant LSIs and entities with the relevant count, see below the count for each, right? So for example, list of SEO tools and it's given us a recommended count for each part of the process. So what we're gonna do from here is we will grab that prompt. We're gonna start a new chat with no history inside each model and we'll see what we get back. We might get trash back from everyone, but let's see what comes back. I'm interested to know which one creates the best optimization score. I'm gonna have a little wild guess because I kind of tested it last week and I would say the GPT-01 Mini may be the best simply because it tends to follow logic better and it tends to follow simpler instructions better. Whereas ChatGPT-40, it can get forgetful sometimes. And also Claude is great for writing content. It doesn't seem to be amazing for logic though. So what we're gonna do from here is we will take this example content from O and we'll see whether, how it performs. So let's plug it in there. And then you just hit check score in the top right and we'll see what it comes back at. And that's 41%, which is not bad at all, right? So we'll delete that 41% for chat GPT 4.0. Let's take the content from GPT 01 mini and see how that performs. Now you can see there's a chain of thought process inside chat GPT 4, but it's not that complex, right? So it's not given a massive amount of thought behind that. So let's take this. It's also includes some, some hashtags at the end of the content. I don't know why. But anyway, it's keyword stuff in like it's 1995. So we'll check the score on this one, see how that performs. 60%, my friends, now we're talking. Now, bear in mind, if this is 100%, you don't need it to be 100%, right? Like just 60%, 70%, I would say is good enough when it comes to optimizing the content. Bear in mind, you can make some tweaks later. And then let's take the content from Claude and we'll see how that performs with the same prompt. So we'll hit check score and that is 44%, right? So some wildly different semantic optimizations from each model and a huge difference between each. And if we have to grade them quantitatively, I would say that ChatGPT 4.0 comes last there. Claude came in second and ChatGPT 01 Mini actually came in first. Now, if we look at the content itself, it still feels really AI, right? So what you might wanna do as a nice little workflow is you actually take the content once it's created by ChatGPT01 Mini, which is nice semantically optimized, and then you could actually just switch into ChatGPT40 and say, keep the semantics the same, but rewrite this as Alex Hormozzi plus simplify it, right? And I think that would be a good way to get the, the best of both models because as you can see right here, with the content written in by ChatGPT 4.0, you get the really nicely written content for the user, but at the same time, you get semantically optimized content based on GPT 01's work, right? So GPT 01 does the groundwork in terms of the logical process of adding LSIs and relevant entities, and then ChatGPT 4.0 can rewrite the content so that it feels more humanized. And then you get the best of both worlds. Now, if you look at this content, it just reads a lot nicer and it feels more like a human. So for example, you're probably here because you've heard SEO is important, but what the heck is it and why should you care? Let's cut the fluff and break it down. Like that's a really nice intro, probably better than most copywriters you're gonna find online and literally just took a couple of minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this humanized content and just see what the semantic optimization score is on Sister. And it might've dropped down quite a bit. 
but it's in that middle ground, right? Because now the content actually reads better for the user. It's contextually relevant for the search engine. You could always ask it to rewrite a few more of these LSIs and entities directly in the content, and it has included some, but this way you get a nice content optimization score and the content itself reads nice for the user, so it's more likely to convert. And that's probably one of the best ways to do it. So just to recap so far, what we have done is we have tested which model writes best for the user, and I would say Claude and ChatGPT 4.0 win on that. When it comes to actually writing semantically optimized content, GPT-01 is winning, and when it comes to the best of both worlds, what I would actually recommend doing is you create the content semantically optimized by ChatGPT-01, and then you get that rewritten in a more humanized way by ChatGPT-40, which is something new I've never seen before, but it actually looks really nice, and you get a good score over here. Bear in mind, this, take this with a pinch of salt, right? but it's just a nice logical way of testing, okay, which model follows the best instructions when it comes to AI. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test ChatGPT 01, 40, and Claude in terms of bypassing AI detectors and see which one performs the best. So I've got an AI, so I've got a 100% AI detectable piece of content right here. We're gonna plug that into ChatGPT 4.0 and see how it performs. We'll do the same with ChatGPT 01 Mini and then we'll do the same with Claude. So we've got the content from ChatGPT 4.0 ready to go. Let's plug that into originality right here. We're not gonna bother about plagiarism because I never seen, that never seems to be an issue when it comes to AI, but we do wanna check it for AI detection. Now, when I've tested this tool with GPT-01, usually it comes back 100% human, but you can see here with chat GPT-40, the content comes back as 100% AI. So if you want to bypass that AI detectors, chat GPT-40, probably not very good. Now let's test it inside GPT-01 Mini, and it's actually written two little content, so I'm just gonna say minimum 150 words, just so that we get a higher word count that we can actually scan, because you can see originality doesn't let me scan it right here. There we go, and we will plug that into originality right here. Now interestingly, that's actually come back as 100% AI as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this with GPT-01 Preview as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I will take the content from Claude and we'll see how that performs. Now, bear in mind some of this content will be will need to be grammatically improved, but you can see that Claude comes out at 100% confidence score, GPT-01 failed, and ChatGPT-40 failed when it came to bypassing AI detectors, which is really interesting if you ask me. And additionally, yeah, you will need to edit the content like me like school with computers, obviously you're gonna edit that, but literally it takes like a couple of minutes just to fix this up and improve the grammatical mistakes on this content. Do not publish it like that, my friends. The final thing that I wanted to mention was a comparison, which API is better for writing content. Now, from what I've seen, Chat's API and Claude's API writes better SEO content than GPT-01's API. Right, And I've definitely seen that in the outputs from this article which was written with GPT-01 versus this article that was written with GPT-4, right? And so if I had a choice, I would probably put Claude as number one, guys, then chat GPT-4.0 as number two, and then finally GPT-01 API is probably the worst for writing content from what I've seen so far. However, that could improve in the future. So thanks so much for watching. We've tested these models for content creation, for the user, content creation for semantics, bypassing AI detectors, and also APIs, as you've seen today. Now, if you want access to all of the SAPs and templates I've mentioned today, this workflow right here with Zista, I would say is probably one of my favorites when it comes to writing really nice user content, quality controlling it using my checklist, and then publishing something that's nice for the user and semantics. Wasn't possible until a couple of weeks ago. I'm gonna include links to all of these workflows inside my free SEO course, Links in the comments and description. And then if you log into the free SEO course, then scroll to SEO systems. I've called this module chat GPT-4 versus GPT-01 versus Claude AI. And if you want access to all the SAPs, templates, tips, and workflows, you can find them in the video notes right there. Links in the comments and description to the free SEO course. Now, thanks so much for watching. If you want a free SEO strategy session that shows you one-to-one -one how to get more leads, traffic, and sales to your website using SEO based on what's working for us and how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month, feel free to book that in links in the comments and description. And on this free link building acceleration session, you will get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, 
We'll answer any questions you have one-to-one -one on the call, plus you'll learn the best link building strategies for your website, how to outrank your competitors with link building, and how to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.